Thank you guys for tuning in. In today's video, I'll be talking about what I call the mercy of God. You know, in one way or the other, we have enjoyed God's mercy. You know, sometimes there's something that we did or we have done. If God wants to discipline us, the punishment is going to be very heavy. But in his, in his mercy, God just allow it to prevail. God just ignore. You know, sometimes your child can do something and you have already prepared your mind that for this you have done, you are going to be disciplined. You won't go on punish. But later you just change your mind and you, you ignore. You forgive, you just, you know, let it go. Likewise, in one way or the other, we have enjoyed His mercy because He is a merciful God. Always show us compassion, His mercy, His love, His favor of ours. But let us not take it for granted. In all we do, in all our hemvedos, what we should be praying for is, Lord, let your mercy prevail. Not that because we can pray, or we know how to pray very well, or we wake up a particular time every day we pray, it is just because of his mercy. Because some people, they, they can pray more than you. But where are they? They are no more. Is it because we are better than them? Or... We always, we are Mrs. Wright and Mr. Wright. No. God is merciful. Always merciful. But let us not take it for granted. When God do his part, let's also do our part. Every one of us, we have our assignment to do. We have assignment to do. We have something you know, to yield to, to be able to make us to obey God, you know, completely. I don't want this video to be too long, but let me stop over here by saying, please always wash my heart. Because I know that my heart dance retention in my YouTube studio showing me five minutes or more. Please, I know it's weird because some hard, you know, hard can be very long. You know, when you love someone, there's nothing you cannot do for them. Please, just help me to watch it. Don't skip it, please. And share the video. God bless you. And let's look at the story in the Bible, Genesis 19. What happened? You know, when God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, the angel came. You know, Lord recognized them. That these people, they are just human being in angel form. He welcomed them to his house. But, you know, despite the... God was, you know, looking for... Is there any righteous or any one, you know, or intercessor to intercede about this city? But none was found. But guess what? God was still merciful. Because of their wickedness, he wanted to destroy everybody. But God saved Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. That's why the wickedness of, of the people, they came. No, you notice that some people came in. Bring them out. Let's have this and that to them. If you want to read more about it, just go to Genesis 19 and you'll see the whole, you know, the Bible story there. This I'm just, you know, paraphrasing it. And do you know that God, despite Lord was still complaining, he said, no, no, just move out quickly because God was about to destroy he was still complaining, he can't go to the mount, but then they noticed that he was, you know, excitating. He doesn't want to move out on time. They grab his son, his wife, his two daughters, and move them out. 
God tried. And he gave instruction. Just simple instruction. Don't look back. Don't stop. And at the end of the day, what happened? Lord looked back and he turned to a pillar of salt. Are we going to question God that God, why did you allow it? So lady, why? He just disobeyed. You just, she just disobeyed. God has tried not to destroy them, you know, the, their, their family with the assignment they wanted to carry out because of the wickedness of that people. But, you know, at the end, she turned to a pillar of salt. Is there any way you have been taking God's mercy for granted? You know that God has really tried. Or you, you are walking in disobedience. You are disobeying God. You know if you look at yourself deeply, you know that this thing that you have done, you're supposed to receive punishment for it. But because God is merciful, He abandoned, he, 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 you know, He pardoned you. He doesn't want you, you know, to experience His wrath or hunger or discipline. But because of that, you are taking it for granted. Just repent. God is a merciful God. At the same time, you know what we call him? The Lion of Tribe of Judah. He can also, you know, appear like a lion. May we not see, you know, it is rocks upon our life. Don't take his mercy for granted and I pray that God's mercy will continue to prevail in our life he will keep on you know showing us his mercy his mercy every steps of our life or in all we do we should be praying that Lord we don't have power of our own but we pray for your mercy to prevail over our life. And I pray that God's mercy will continue to prevail over our life. It will continue to prevail in all that we do. Because without his mercy, we won't be where we are right now. It is not because you know how to pray. It is not because you know how to read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Maybe every six months. God just decided to show you mercy. Because it's a merciful God, don't take it for granted. And I'll be stopping from here. And remember to support me your little way by watching the video you share it and guess what don't skip my heart don't skip it god bless you and bye 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 for now do not take his mercy for granted